Hey everybody, Jeff here with 1UP Rise Marketing. Just want to make a quick video for you as I'm kind of taking an afternoon walk. Good thing to do if you've been working and, you know, maybe questioning what's going on with what you're, what you're doing, how you're applying your time, where are your results, those kinds of things. Just drop it for a second. A lot of times you can get those answers indirectly by going a different direction for a couple moments. So I want to take these few moments to uh, talk about a really big word. The word is gratitude. You hear that word a lot. It's practically a buzz word in uh, you know, self-help thinking. Uh, I will even go so far to say uh, self-help communities but in any case you know it really means something um, so that's why I want to touch on quickly I don't want this video to be too long uh, and this this subject is going to uh, deliberately be made available to you um, at the beginning of this channel that I'm just now undertaking because I think it's appropriate to have relevant topics at the beginning okay um, you know I, I, I don't necessarily want to be another channel that uh, rolls out the Royal Rolls Royce on day one because really what am I doing I'm showing you what you don't have but what do you have you have plenty to be grateful for so what's this really word really mean because I've struggled with this in the past you know oh don't tell me to be grateful for something when uh, nothing's happening, at least you might think. So, now, the word gratitude has obviously something to with the word thanks. And if you get into the etymology of the word, and I'm, I'm going to try to not nerd out on you too much here on this video, but if you get into the etymology of the word, which just means, you know, where these words are derived from and the relationship that these words have with other words, by knowing this, you have a broader scope of the value of the word, which I like saying it that way rather than the meaning of the word, because words truly do have a value when you start to understand that they really have an, an, an impact on your mind. They make an impression on your mind and on your thinking. So gratitude has an etymological relationship to the word thanks. Thanks has an etymological relationship to the word think. So think about that for a second. That's very interesting. Very, very interesting. So let's not stop there. Let's uh, take a closer look at uh, this word, even in other languages, because we have the idea of gratitude all around the world. So let's go east for a little while. Now, the the Semitic, from the Semitic language, the word gratitude uh, would be shukr, okay? Now, shukr, if you learn the meaning of this word, you'll learn more about what gratitude and what thanks means. Um, it would mean something that's praiseworthy, something that continues to give. And this is the point that I really wanted to make, that continues to give, okay? And the uh, way to understand this would be, say, a tree. Okay, I got a, a walnut tree in my backyard, and this thing gives walnuts to the squirrels year round. You can't walk out my back door without a see seeing a squirrel gah, 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 nut nibbling on a walnut. I'm telling you, there's walnuts there now from last year. It's just starting to get warm. The snow is gone. The squirrels are back feasting on walnuts from last year as there's walnuts growing a new for this year so they're set okay so when we say thanks to something it ought to be appropriate when we're giving thanks for something it ought to be appropriate it ought to be something that points to this true abundance because gratitude you hear a lot uh, is something that when you when you're grateful you get more of what you're grateful for well to be quite honest, you have to be grateful for something that continues to give and not be grateful for something 
that doesn't, because even if you're grateful for it, it's not going to deliver, you know? So I'm talking about the pizza party that you get from the manager at work after you've put in an 80 hour week, right? And uh, they throw a pizza party. And, and, and you've damn near killed yourself to get to those 80 hours for the company, thinking that they're going to recognize you. And, you know, everybody's happy for a second. They get the dopamine release when they get that slice of pizza. There's not a pizza party next week. There's not a pizza, park the, pizza party the week after that. You see where I'm going with this? And yet the manager of your job is standing there in line and they, they hand you that piece of pizza on that plastic plate and you say, thanks, thanks. And I know manners are important. Being polite is important. We don't want to seem, uh, you know, like jerks. Um, But if they were to say, oh, you didn't say thank you, you're ungrateful. Well, you don't have a nature of abundance. You're not showing me the nature of abundance. You're not giving me the, uh, the look at something that is evidently continually no question about it I can see it it agrees with my reason an abundant part of life it continues to provide that is the thing that is worthy of gratitude because gratitude is also something that is worthy of praise and one pizza party after an 80 hour week is not worthy of praise So that's very important. You ought not to be praising things that are not praiseworthy. Okay? So yes, uh, just starting out, there are things, even though uh, you don't have the Rolls Royce yet. You know, if you want a Rolls Royce, fine. You don't have the Mercedes yet. If you want a Mercedes, fine. There's ways to get that. And the way is not to kill yourself within an 80-hour week. It's not. It's applying yourself in the direction that you can trust and believe because it continues to provide. And just by giving a little, it gives a a lot. That is another indication of something that is praiseworthy. So I'm already about seven and a half minutes. I don't want to go on too long. But yeah, just out for a stroll. So I'm grateful for my legs. They take me on walks almost every day when the weather's nice. Walks clear my mind. The right and the left sides of the brain start working together. I'm grateful for my eyes. Grateful for my lungs that can breathe this fresh air because they keep working day in, day out. I don't even have to give them thought, just a little, you know? I wanna walk that way, boom, I'm walking that way. So these are the things I'm grateful for. So think about that for a little bit. I could have gone on longer, but like I said, I don't want to nerd out on you. Uh, But please, comment below. Tell me what your thoughts are. Share what you're grateful for. There's a great book called The Science of Getting Rich. I'll get more into that later by Wallace Waddles. Fantastic book. If you spend a little bit of time with this book every day, it will give you a lot. One of the things that Wallace says, Wallace Waddle says is, when you don't know what to do, stop. Just be grateful. And we have things to be grateful for. Remember something that's continued to be there for you. Be more grateful for that. Bring that feeling back. That'll pick you up time and time and time again. Be grateful for that. Because what you're grateful for, you get more of. If it's praiseworthy. Praise and gratitude are together. So don't praise something that is not worthy of it. All right. That's enough for now, I think. I appreciate you. appreciate your attention to the One Uprise channel. I really am talking about an uprising here. Something that changes lives, gets you out of old paradigms, can transform your world, so on and so forth. I'm sorry if the traffic is too loud in the back. But I am just kind of wandering here (laughs) through the neighborhood. All right, enough for now. Peace.